This is what they are trying to avoid. Crowds of people gathered around the Macy's windows to try and see adorable animals up for adoption. They were also worried about what happens behind the scenes to pull this off. Normally this space that we're in right now would be buzzing with activity and be quite crowded. Um, so we didn't want to draw a crowd. But they knew they wanted to do something. So they came up with this, videos of SPCA alums showing off their cuteness. And in the corner window, a giant stuffed dog brought in from the New York store, scratching his ear while surrounded by wrapped presents. Really, this is a thank you to the city. Um, this is a thank you to all the people who have been working throughout the pandemic and we just wanted to give some joy and love back. Fans of the windows might be taken aback at first. It is different, but it's 2020. I think it's a little weird. I think I understand it. I, I can see why if you put a puppy in the window, people will gather and then that would be a problem. So maybe doing the video will help people not gather, but is it going to help the puppies and the cats? Are they going to be adopted the same way? That's the one bit of good news during this pandemic. Adoptions are up, so the SPCA isn't too worried about moving animals out of the shelter. But Macy's and the SPCA were worried about letting people down. They wanted to somehow keep the tradition alive. When customers come to see these windows and to see these videos, their hearts are going to melt, I think, just the same. The videos out here are pretty adorable. I'm not convinced that a crowd of people won't gather, so just remember to spread out. Now, these animals have already found their forever homes, but on the website, they do have a live feed of animals who are up for adoption, about 30 of them. So just go to our website, abc7news.com. We have a link for you right there. In San Francisco, Amy Holyfield, ABC7 News.